Okay, so one of the things we are faced with, with every new year, is that we have New Year's resolutions that we make. And so often we are disappointed by ourselves because we fail with our New Year's resolutions. So today I'm going to give you some very simple, easy tips that you can use in order to help you accelerate and get into a happy space in the early New Year so that you can achieve your New Year's resolutions, goals and ambitions that you set for yourself. So the first thing is to look back on the year before. See what you can improve on, what things can you change, what new direction can you take with regards to your New Year's resolution. So simple things that you can do is clear out old junk that you may have because old junk is old energy and it keeps us stagnant. So that might mean going through your cupboard, it might be going through your bookshelf, all your accounting, all of those things that are stagnant. Clear that negative energy out of your space because now you have a clear mindset and you can focus on what you want to achieve. The other thing that you can do is to simplify your lifestyle because the more simplified our lifestyles are, the easier things flow. So all that necessary and the clutter that you've had in your life is now going to be removed from that space. You are simplifying your life. Then get very clear about the goals and ambitions you want to achieve. So know exactly what it is you want to achieve. Have a clearly defined timeline that you want to achieve that in. Because by doing that, you can then, you've got the end in mind about your goal. Now you've got a timeline, you set in place simple, easy steps to achieve that. And one of the most important things that we tend to do, especially when we get stressed, is we procrastinate. So by having a list of things that you're going to do and you're going to have your timeline spread out for you, what you do is you then come back to your list every time you find yourself procrastinating. Every time you get stuck and you find that you're deviating from your goal to prevent that stress from getting into your space, come back to your list. This is why writing goals down is very, very important as opposed to just carrying them in your head. Because when you carry them in your head, day-to-day -day things get into your way and interfere. So by having things written down, it's going to help you in that way. So very simply, keep it a note of it and then track your successes. And even if it's just taking one small action per day that you can now track, start marking that off on your list. Because the more you do that, the more enthusiastic you're going to become the happier you will feel because you, now you can see that you're making progress, even if that progress means tiny little steps. So by taking small increments, you're going to lay a really nice firm foundation and you're going to be more inclined to stick to your goals, stick to those ambitions and move forward successfully. I can assure you, your success is going to spill over into all the people in your life, your friends, your family, and then you will inspire and motivate them to start following what you have been